Hi there. I'm just about to rebuild this lovely old Irvine 25 which I've just cleaned up. Now both the bearings were pretty shot so I've got a couple of new bearings front and back. Now the rear bearings I think are almost exclusively open in engines. They're not shielded or they haven't got seals. I might be wrong on that um, but all the ones I've ever dealt with have always been open bearings. Now I can remember the first time I did this I was trying to find a bearing without shields because often when you buy a bearing they've got shields on them or, or, or seals and because I didn't know whether you could remove them and how easy it was and, and in actual fact it's really easy and I thought I would do a quick video in case there's anybody else out there scratching their head wondering about how to remove the shields from the bearing so I've got this uh, SKF bearing and um, I'll show you now how to get those seals out quickly and easily. Take a look at this. Right, well, here's our bearing, and you can see the, uh, the shields on it. Now, the three tools I've got at hand, I'm not necessarily going to use them, but the three tools I've got is a very fine pointed screwdriver, slightly bigger screwdriver, and a pair of very fine nosed pliers. Like I say, I might not use all of them, but, uh, but they're at hand in case I do. So, let's get the bearing out. Now, the shield itself, I'll just zoom in very slightly with this. Right, and I'll hopefully try and keep this in shot. Now the seal, uh, sorry, the, the shield itself is actually attached or fastened in via a groove around the outside of this shield, uh, this um, uh, bearing. Now the inside edge of this has a gap, it's not attached to this, uh, this inner ring, it's only attached via that outer ring. So what we do now is we get a sharp screwdriver and we just push that into there and lift it up. Now we need to be very careful not to push it in too far and actually damage the, uh, the, the bearing retainer, ball, ball, ball retainer. And we just get that in and just, and you can see there it's just lifting up the, uh, the shield on that inside edge. And we'll lift that up. Now we've got a little bit more space there, I'm going to put in a slightly bigger screwdriver just to lever that up. There we go. Now, there, and that's come out. The reason I've got the nose pliers is because if it was really tight I might just grip the edge. But as I said, you need to be really careful not to push the screwdriver in under that shield cover um, because if you do you'll damage the, um, you'll damage the uh, retainer, the ball retainer inside. And you can see there that's packed with grease nicely. Now I'll just do the other side. So again just push it in and lever that up. Like I say I've got just the edge levered up now and there's more room to get a slightly bigger screwdriver in there and just now it's in there I just put a twist on the screwdriver and again that's just lifted out and interestingly there's no grease packed on that uh, on that side but there you go that's how to remove your uh, your shields well as you can see it's a really simple process to get the shields off and uh, when you know how it's easy or a little bit of practice but when you don't know how it can be quite um, worrying really. I can remember, like I say, the first time I ever did it, I really didn't want to get it wrong. I didn't want to damage a bearing that I just bought. So anyway, please subscribe and uh, I suppose I'd better get on now and build this engine back up.